Hi there and welcome to this brand new SketchUp rendering tutorial using the program iRender Next. So today I'll show you the feature indirect lighting or cove lighting in SketchUp. I've created this model uh, of which the kitchen was uh, came from the uh, 3D warehouse but the rest of the living room was just uh, quickly made up by me um, just to kind of give you a preview or just to explain you what indirect lighting works like so um, as you can see there's no windows around in this living kitchen area so um, having some lighting in there would be good but you don't want to have like those highlighted lights all around your model uh, that simply doesn't look that good if you don't want that um, cove lighting is a really good way to solve the problem because as you can see here we've got um, a suspended um, yeah, roof over here, which I'm going to be creating right now. And in that way, we're going to create uh, cove lighting because the way it works is um, the light uh, shines from the top of the roof from here to the ceiling and from the ceiling it bounces back. And in that way, you've got indirect lighting, which is, of course, exactly what this tutorial is about. So um, you create the ceiling. This is a way in which you could do it. There's many ways to use um, indirect lighting in SketchUp, but this is one of the ways um, which is in which it's most uh, efficient. So you just create this suspended um, roof or ceiling. There you go to the light feature in our render next, which is really useful. You can uh, add lights in a very easy manner. In that way, I'm going to add some spotlights, uh, which are very um, useful for this feature. And then you can um, make the settings over here. I've gone for this, but it really depends on your model and the amount of light, etc. what you want to use. And then um, you have to use, um, yeah, uh, spread them evenly around the model like this for instance i'm adding um, 10 lights right now which i feel should be enough to um, create some good lighting effect in the model and then we close off the ceiling like this there we go and then now it's time to model it as you can see from here on uh, you do see the spotlights but once you render it you don't actually see those blue cones but um, it doesn't really even is it that clear that there is a suspended uh, roof there or ceiling there, but still you will get a lot of light from there because as you can see uh, from now on, we'll render it, um, just use some settings and then we can start rendering uh, the image. And this is what the end result is. And as you can see, you see the light bouncing from the ceiling in the suspended ceiling back into the room, which uh, gives uh, diffused light, which is really good because it doesn't create any highlights in your model, which simply looks better and more natural. So if you want to create a natural feel uh, and you don't have access to windows or you can't act, uh, actually add windows to your model, then uh, yeah, cove lighting is a really good solution. But as you can see, the model is still kind of dark. Uh, that's because the light only comes from uh, yeah, the lights which are added. So the cove lighting, the indirect lighting and 10% of the skylight. Uh, if you want to know more about the lighting settings, you can check out my tutorial on that. I'll not go into any detail uh, right now. But if you didn't exactly understand what I just said, you've got to check out that tutorial because I explain more about that in that video. But uh, if you want to create a little bit of a lighter atmosphere, of course, adding windows can help, but you can also add different lamps uh, throughout the uh, entire room just to create some more lights or add, uh, make the suspended ceiling bigger or add several ones of them. And in that way you can um, yeah, really light up your, um, your model in a natural way. So I hope you found this tutorial using and Next for SketchUp useful. And um, then I hope to see you back in another tutorial. Bye-bye.